So in this series, I'm going to be using Laravel Sail for my local development environment whilst building out this course. Now this makes it much easier to work with and it also makes it much easier to get the search engine part of this up and running using Melee Search. So I highly recommend that you also follow along using Laravel Sail. Now if you're not too familiar with Laravel Sail, if you head over to the Code Course YouTube channel, I have already created a video on how to use Laravel Sail here. So I'll link that in the comments as well. So you have a direct link to it. This will go over the basics of getting Laravel Sail up and running. Although using Laravel Sail is highly recommended for this series, it's not required. So you can run this through the normal PHP artisan serve command, as long as you have a database set up as well. But you also need to set up a search engine separately. And I'll run through the different options when we reach that point. There's also services that you can use online that you can hook into via an API. So you don't actually have to install anything on dev, but like I said, I'll run over them when we get to that point. So I have a brand new project here with nothing in it so far, apart from the default Laravel scaffold. And I'm going to install Laravel Sail into this. And to do that, it's php artisan sail colon install. Now this gives you the option of what services you'd like to add. So I'm going to be using MySQL for this. And as just mentioned, there's also Melee Search, which I'm going to include as well. So I'm going to type 0 and 4 here, comma separated. So 0, comma 4. And this will set Laravel Sail up with MySQL service and Melee Search. If you're planning on expanding on this project, like tended emails, you might want to install the MailHog as well. And maybe even something like Redis or Memcached if you want to add cache into this. But I'm not going to be covering those in this course. And that generates the scaffolding for us. And then finally, I'm going to publish the Laravel sale assets. Now, you don't need to do this, but what it does, is it puts a Docker Compose file and other sale related files into the root of your project. And this just makes things easier to get at if you want to make any changes to the Docker Compose stack. So I'm going to go HP Artisan Sale colon publish. And that'll publish the assets for us. And I'll leave that up to you. It's completely optional if you want to do that or not. Okay, next I'm going to install Laravel Breeze because we're going to be using Laravel Breeze as a starting template for this project. And this just gives us a tailwind interface, but also gives us login and registration user flows. So we can jump straight in with the actual building of our project. So for this project, because I am using Laravel Sail, I'm going to be running all of the commands against the Docker stack. So all the commands will be prefixed with sail, so it goes inside of the Docker containers and runs the commands there. If you're not using Laravel sail, then you can simply just forget about the sail part at the start of the commands. So let's bring up the sail stack and then we can install Laravel breeze. So to do that, it's simply sail up. I'm going to pass it the D flag so it runs in detached mode, which basically means it just runs in the background. As you can see, that has brought up our Docker stack with Melee Search and MySQL. So now let's install Laravel Breeze. So we're doing a sale composer and we're going to require and we're going to require Laravel forward slash Breeze and we're only going to install this for dev. So like I mentioned earlier, because I'm running this against the sale Docker stack, I'm prefixing with sale. But if you're not using sale, just omit this part of the command. And also I have sale as a bash alias here. So if you didn't have that bash alias set up, you'd have to call the sale binary directly. So in the root of your project, you'd run dot slash and then vendor forward slash bin forward slash sale. But if you have the alias set up like I do here, then you can just run sale. If not, then you have to reference the binary directly. So let's just remove that now and then run the breeze install. So now we have the breeze package downloaded. Let's install that and we can do a sale artisan breeze on install and then as you can see here it's asking us to run npm install and npm run dev so let's do that now so we can do a sale npm install and sale npm run dev okay so now that has installed and it's up and running the final thing we need to do is migrate our database so we have access to the user tables so we can do a sale artisan migrate and there you go that's migrated our database for us now let's just quickly test this in the browser so this will be over on localhost and providing you've not changed any of the defaults in the docker compose file then it will be the default port 80. So let's just quickly register a user. So I've just quickly filled out this form here and I'm going to click register. 
And you can see now we have the full Laravel Breeze starter package up and running, and we've got our user logged in, ready to work with. So in the next video, let's look at creating our document migration and also our document to user relationship. If you are enjoying this series, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updates as and when future videos are released on this series. Also, check out the other series on my channel. I have a lot of Laravel related content on there. And remember, this course does come with some extra premium content that is completely optional, and that is over on Udemy. And I'll pop a link in the description with a 60% discount code for the first 100 signups. And you can watch the entire series straight away without any adverts.